Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it looks like Image Comics has officially formed its union. Oh, yay. However, it does not seem like the bosses at Image Comics are very happy with that uh, turn of events. In fact, we're going to talk about this and what this means uh, going forward. My personal opinion, I think they're going to get gone one way or another. Probably. And I want to point out, too, uh, this is, they're like, oh, it's a win for comic creators. It's not, because this union is not for comic creators. It's for the office staff. Yeah, this, this keeps getting lost in all this conversation because there are a lot of creators on Twitter you know, that are like, oh, this is a win for comics creators. No, a lot of them no. the same damn creators that I remember going on about how they're owed health care. They're owed being, they should be paid to sit at home and draw comics all day. Yeah. I mean, that's the same people. It's it's a tough business. It is. But, you know, we keep hearing, we keep hearing, everybody keeps going on about Comics are great. Comics are fine. The comic book industry is booming. I'm like, if it's booming so much, how come so many people are, are basically destitute at this mm -hmm. point? You know, working for the working for the, the mainstream publishers. Now, look, if it's like about office, okay, when it comes to like work, like, you know, you want clear instructions, you want fair pay, fair hours, you know, things that are put in writing that are made more clear. Okay, I get that. In that kind of case, I can understand. And I, and I before, if there is an actual abuse going on, um, then yes, unionization, I think is fair. But then it was, it was that, and then it was, we want to control every project that gets made with a nebulous, we feel th this person's bad and they meet these criteria, but we're going to make sure it's a very, um, interpret, there's a lot of interpretation in there of what that could mean and how it could change. And it's a very nebulous thing. It's basically, we don't like you, so we want to move your, we want to remove your comic. Yeah. That's where there's an issue here. Yeah. Like Kickstarter before it, the, uh, the Image Comics Union was more about, making sure the uh, office staff, the employees, could dictate the content that the company produced. And a lot of it, I think, had to do with Warren Ellis, who was uh, coming under fire for relations with uh, different women in and around the comic book industry. Uh, they want to be able to, to block people from using Image Comics to publish their books. This is literally the antithesis of everything Image Comics was founded on. Image Comics was founded on the ability to publish whatever you wanted to without editorial interference. And most of the people who create through Image actually have their own studios. And they just, you know, kind of, it's like a co-op. They all kind of publish their stuff through Image, but they're all kind of their own little business. I mean, as you can see here from Wired, even Kickstarter, and, and they dealt with the union in the same way I think Image Comics is going to. The point wasn't about the pay issue, but to give workers more say about what they produce. Now, since this happened uh, last year, Kickstarter pled poverty, got rid of most of their unionized employees, particularly in the uh, comic book segment, mm -hmm. because that's what they wanted. They wanted to have say over what was produced. And uh, now a bunch of other people quit because they're mad about NFTs and blockchain and all this other shit. Yeah, so. it's just like when you work for a company, that doesn't give you the right to dictate everything the company does. Right, right. Um, and this is exactly what Image Comics wants to do. And uh, it seems like they're already getting pushback from their employers. So we're going to talk more about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and Rance guys over 250,000 subs. Uh, thank you so much for the support. We do talk about the comic book industry, having worked in and around the comic book industry. Um, we're kind of watching it burn down in real time. And a lot of the reason it's burning down, I think, is some of the people that are in comics now, they have a very Tumblr mindset. They're, mm -hmm. you know, they're definitely... Um, I can just get a very entitled mindset. Yeah, yeah, it's... The comic book industry current year is very different from the comic book industry of even 10 years ago. And you can see a lot of the activist types that are coming into comics that aren't really concerned about comics getting made so much as they are using comics as a platform uh, to espouse their opinions and yada, yada. And make and, sure certain people have a voice, others don't. And that's where you lose me. Right. You, you have me on, okay, you know, they've been getting rid of people, not replacing them, putting more work on us is no clear cut, you know, yeah, I job that. description, that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah, okay, I agree with you on that. I think that there, there needs to be more clarity. And for that reason, I can, I can see where you're coming from. But then you throw in that you should have creative control over things. And I'm like, no, you shouldn't. You're the office staff. That's not yeah. your job. Yeah, and uh, you know, the fact that Image would not Image, which is currently in in Portland, right? They moved from California to Portland. The fact that Image Comics, which has a lot of uh, progressive people working there, wouldn't recognize this union was not a good sign. They were very angry that they wouldn't recognize this union of uh, uh, office workers. 
And it's going to be really interesting going forward because uh, Jim Valentino, who's one of the founders of Image, apparently left the names of all of these unionized employees off of his book. Well, they usually put on the books? Yes. Okay, well, in that case, I, can, I, can, I mean, that's kind of, you know, I mean, I see both sides of this one, but I mean, that's a little pooey, but you know. D- uh, I, I, can, I can see, look, the early Image founders. They had balls. You know, they did. Regardless of, of where they're at right now, they had balls. They walked away from Marvel. Uh, and the reason they walked away from Marvel Comics wasn't to go form unions and crap. Because I remember Rob Liefeld even being like some 25-year-old editorial assistant shouldn't be able to dictate to me what kind of comics I can and can't produce when I've been doing this longer than they have and I'm making tons of money for the company. But she's right. You know? And uh, so they're not going to put up with this shit. How many unions do you know get to dictate like, you know, like when they have unions for different things, I, I don't remember them being like, oh, well, I, you get to say who we work with and who we send to. And you know what I mean? This is a trend that's been happening for the last couple of years now. We, we've seen it at Spotify. We had uh, some Spotify employees uh, getting their panties in a bunch about Joe Rogan. <laughs> they didn't win. And they did not win. Uh, we saw it with Shopify. Shopify tried to be like, you can't let those those uh, people use the platform because they might do bad things or sell bad things. And they're and they like, didn't yeah, win. They didn't win that one. And these unionized image employees are not going to win this one either. Again, you had to set poor working conditions if the working conditions were actually poor. I'm sorry. I'm just reading this. They have vote to unionize. Nine people. Yes. That's it. Nine office workers. Nine office workers think that they should get to decide everything that gets published through yes. their image. Nine People. It was the same with the Kickstarter. Nine. Union. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the nine in that school. Nine. And only <laughs> seven thought that they that that should be okay. Nine. Uh, yeah. So oh two of those two of those people want to keep their jobs. Uh, oh anyway, let's talk about this here. As I'm report- sorry, I just saw that and I was like, oh my god, nine people. As reported by Vice and Twitter account Daily Union Elections, nine Image Comics employees voted 72 in favor of unionizing with the Comic Book Workers United and the Communications Workers of America. Uh, today, January 6th, that was yesterday. The Image employees who make up the Comic Book Worker United first announced plans to unionize back in November uh, with a letter signed by uh, Ryan Brewer, Leanna Conter, Marla Isaac, Drew Fitzgerald, Melissa Gifford, Chloe Ramos, Trisha Ramos, John Schlafman, Erica Schnatz. Uh, just so just so you know, guys, uh, their names are on that. So uh, when they are fired. Yeah, well, don't harass people. Uh, do not harass people. I'm just saying when they are fired, if you're a comic book publisher, just be aware if you hire them, uh, they will probably go to work and, immediately to start another and union And how many of company. these people there were, came in and then hired their friends? Yes. So that's probably like, you know, the, them and their buddies tried. And like we want, and, and and I guess that, again, for the stuff that's actual union, unionizable type things, I get it. But then the, the creative control was the issue. Nine people are going to get to decide. Yeah. Now it's, Bullshit. Now it sounds good on paper when they're like, well, we've been overworked and yada, yada. Well, that I, that's a good reason. That's, that I agree with. That is why you start a union. But that is not why people are starting unions today. Again, look at Kickstarter. Kickstarter formed a union primarily because a lot of their people were very, very well-paid employees. They were six-figure mm-hmm. employee, you know, making really good money um, and uh, probably not working more than eight or nine hours a day. You know, they probably had it pretty good. They were, you know, working for a startup, but they wanted to be able to dictate the content that the company could produce and it blew up in their faces. So I'm going to speculate that they're probably going to get fired or they're, they're going to restructure. They won't, they won't say they're fired. They'll do something else. We have to lay you off because the comic book industry, supply chain problems. We can't print any books. It's COVID. It's COVID. That's what happened with Kickstarter. Kickstarter actually had their best year ever for comic book crowdfunding, but they waited until they had a bad month or two. And they're like, oh, Camilla, we're so sorry. Uh, things are not good. We just, we really need to let you go. Bye. Bye-bye. And then her replacement rage quit because of the the uh, blockchain announcement. So that's the thing. These people will, you'll give them what they want. And they'll fucking turn on you. They always mm-hmm. do. They always do because it's never enough. If you're if you're activist minded and you're not just there to put in your hours, do a good job, get your paycheck. If you're there because I want to make a difference in the world with my comic book copy skills. You know? I just love it that they're they literally the office staff. 
And they said Image Comics office staff. This is what gets me is the, the media, CBR is pointing out that's the office staff. It's the office but staff. But a lot of these idiots on Twitter and a lot of other people doing these blogs are talking about the, oh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a win for the creators and comics, with comics creators. This isn't about comics creators. This is about the damn office staff. They, are, they don't create these books. They create nothing. Yeah, so actually, um, I follow this guy on Twitter, Zotus Frampton, and he's talking to another image create, creator, uh, Cody Chamberlain here. Yeah, I'm an independent creator whose creator-owned comic is published by Image. I'm not part of any union, nor is I asked to even be part of one. Uh, for those asking, the Image Comics Union is not a That's union. That's what we keep telling players. you yep. people. We've been. Uh, it's an employee union of people in the office, unlike Marvel and DC creators are not employees of Image. This shouldn't impact us directly unless the fees go up, and that's the thing to watch. Again, I'm not, I'm not going to say exactly what's going to happen, but I'm, I'm going to speculate based on some other stuff going on that they're probably going to get gone one way or another. So let me tell you a little story about a company I used to work for. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a pretty sizable commercial printing operation. They also published uh, magazines, newspapers, and stuff like that. I worked on the editorial side. They also had a printing division. When the people on the printing side of things decided they were going to unionize, and they had a vote to unionize, and they were already... Was it more than nine people? It was more than nine people. It was about 20 or 30 people. Yeah, they had a huge operation, huge operation. When they decided to unionize, and they were already at this point some of the highest paid... They were definitely some of the highest paid people working at the company, but, but they were already very well paid even for the industry in the state because it was a pretty sizable printer. When they decided to unionize... The owner of the company sold off the printing division, just, just to rid himself of them, sold off the printing division to somebody else, and then he decided he was going to buy printing services with editorial, buy printing services from this new printing division, but the new owner of the company immediately fired a bunch of people. Or I was going to say, or they probably lowered the, 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 what they paid. Yeah, there, there were definitely, it was basically, the, the owner was so desperate to get rid of them and not have to deal with the union that he sold half the company. No, I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying this is kind of shit, but what could happen. Yeah. Um, again, look at Kickstarter. Look at what happened. So there's trouble in paradise already. Uh, Image Comics Union says management fought to invalidate votes in historic elections. Historic election. election. They're nine office workers trying to, to drum up stuff, trying to make out their creators that they're just as important when they're not. It's no offense to the office workers, but frankly, they don't create anything. And all this other shit. Nine people. Historic. My ass. Historic. They're making this out like, oh my God. This is it would be historic if there was finally some kind of uh you know professional organization for comic book creators. Like Marvel or DC or something like freelancers, that. Freelancers, set rates, health insurance. That, that that would be historic. That would be historic. Yeah, this is not. This is a... This is God. A, so when, Historically stupid. Yeah, they said that they asked Image Comics to voluntarily recognize the union. Image Comics management refused to do so, forcing the 12 union eligible workers to take a vote. Well, there's not 12. There's nine. There's nine now. Uh, what exactly Image Comics' objection to the workers voting in the election was unclear as the publisher did not immediately respond to requests. I can tell you, this is what the problem was. The problem was you don't get to dictate our content. You are an office worker. These people came in, built this thing up from nothing. The office workers now think they should be the ones running it. Yeah. It's like, are you serious? I mean, this is like, it sounds like I'm against office workers. And that's not what I'm saying. No. There's a lot of office workers that, you know, do a lot of things. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is these people, where they had like valid points, they lost them because at the end of the day, it's about we want to control it. And it's, and it's this nebulous, well, any good, no good Nick that we think is a bad person for whatever reason, because we say so, means that they shouldn't get to print their books. And it's like, that doesn't work that way in the real world. I, I would say, or were you hired to be an editor? Were you hired to be a marketing person? Were you hired in, uh, you know, in any capacity to make decisions as to what we publish or produce? If the answer is no, then get the fuck well, back Well, I guess some of them were, though. <sighs> They were editors, or whatever, but they weren't like. They, but they were supposed to edit the work that came in. It wasn't like they weren't the ones right. that signed. They weren't signing off. Uh, Eric Stevenson mm -hmm. and guys like Jim Valentino are the ones who actually sign off on what's allowed in Image. And actually, now I don't know how open they are now, but back in the day, it was relatively easy to get into Image Comics because you had to pay your dues to get in. And again, it worked very much. Oh, like I remember that. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, and there are significantly significantly fewer books now because it is harder to get in because they vet stuff, I think, a little bit better. But, you know, still. Uh, you know what gets me is the people that are the creators that are like the co-op. They don't get, the people that do those books get nothing. 
But the office workers get a union and get to decide. Yeah. Things. And I thought it was kind of weird because I actually had to sit there and think like, wait, Image has has office staff because everybody's kind of doing their own thing. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why and, there's only nine. Yeah. Because they don't they need a skeleton crew because most people are going to turn in a, a basically a finished product and they just have to get it to the printers and coordinate with all Diamond of which you whatever. can do yourself. You don't even need yeah, them to do. Can. Yeah. I, I, I'll tell you the truth. I think what's going to happen is I think some people are going to jump ship from Image because they're going to be like, hell, if we got to deal with this shit, we're out of here because we're not going to let your uh, uh, copy boy decide whether or not I can publish my comic book because the anchor on this this book 10 years ago said something stupid on Twitter and they want to cancel or it. Or doesn't to say now. something stupid because uh, my friend on Twitter told me that someone so comics gated Jason's cousin, nephew's dog's friends, you know, with so and so. Um, and so that means they're obviously comics gate. Um, and we are against that because they're racist, disophobic, whatever. Well, they're not, they're not, but they're, they're, they're black and Jewish. I thought, well, they are isophobic. <laughs> they're isophobic racist because my friend said so. So they shouldn't get their book printed. Anyway, uh, so this was, I thought was really interesting. I heard about it. Jim Valentino, again, one of the founders of Image, uh, took took the uh, office worker credits off of Hellcop. I mean, that's his you know prerogative to do so. I think that's going a little far, but that's just me. But I guess I, I, I guess I have to understand it. They're being held hostage by these people. Yes. So. If somebody tried to do this to me, okay, yeah, you totally company, would. Um, I, I I'd w- get mad too, especially if there were conversations held. Now, my understanding of Jim Valentino is I've I've actually heard very good things about Jim Valentino. That he's actually pretty easy to work with and whatever. If you've pissed him off, well, that's, then how bad is it? How bad is it, and how long has this been going on? Okay, I guess I can see it in that regard. I guess when you're dealing with this shit on a daily basis, I can kind of understand the frustration. Yeah, if this has been going on for months, I'd be like, "Fuck you, we tried." Yeah, we you tried. totally would do that. I know you I would. would. <laughs> Um, so this is coming from Bounding in the Comics. I heard about it a couple days ago. A couple people did videos on it. Uh, but yeah, the names of 10 employees attempting to unionize because in Comics. there's 10 now. There's 12, there's 9, nine there's, there's 10. Whatever. Somewhere between 9 and 12, okay? Yeah, somewhere in there. Have been dropped from the office credits page of the most recent issue of Hellcop, reportedly at the specific request of publisher and co-founder Jim Valentino. Uh, seen when comparing the respective issues, the removal of these employees' names from the office credits took place between the second and third entries of the Brian Haberling created Shadowline produced series. Uh, so you can see that there were a lot more people here, and these are all the people that are on. Oh, here it tells you they are. The list, yeah. Accounting analyst, Accounting talent analyst. liaison, book market and library sales manager, digital sales coordinator, specialty sales. Marketing content associate, traffic manager, Trafficker? content manager, senior production sales. artist. So there's an artist there and production artist. Okay, so I see two. Graphic designers. I see two potential maybe creator type jobs. The rest are all. I I I I I I'm the coordinator of of sales. I'm I analyze the the accounts. So basically, they're in-house marketing department designers. That's they're in-house stuff to get the book th- into places, which you probably could do on your own. Yeah, and they got removed. <laughs> the removal was then brought to widespread attention by former Image Comics production and sales marketing uh, production designer Sasha Head, who tweeted that same day. Apparently, Jim Valentino specifically removed the unionizing members of the Image Comics staff from the Shadowline book. Maybe fully his right. I still think it's cruel and perhaps reveals a little bit of something about the old boy culture. Well, you know what, though? What's funny to me is uh, you can see what their jobs were. Yeah, and you can see exactly how... Not creators. No. It's not a huge historic win for creators at all. Um, In a follow-up tweet, she clarified, just to be clear, other folks published the image do not have the option to do this. This is an action made by a founder of the company, specifically as a dig toward his own employees. But you do have their employees have no problem putting digs towards everybody else that are founders of the company. Those guys had balls. And I can tell you, I mean, one of the first things I said is if they tried to push it, you do not want to get on Todd McFarlane's bad side. Like, he will fucking eat you alive. And he he can do it, especially now, like, they're... Right now, most of their sales should be coming from Spawn, and he is like the guy at Image. And I guarantee you, if they piss off Todd McFarlane, it is not going to end well. Well, break them. out the Orville and the Jimmy Pop. This is going to get good. This is going to be very, very interesting. I am gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say they're going to get gone one way or another. Uh, I think if Jim Valentino is taking them off of the book, and Valentino again, as I understand it from people I know that have worked with him. 
Uh, he's actually a pretty easy to get along with dude. If you've pissed him off, then things must be pretty bad mm -hmm. over there. Um, so good luck with that. Good luck with that. I'm waiting for people to be like, well, you're just making fun of office people. No, it's no, like, no. no. It's all those jobs you've actually done. I've done those jobs. And I know, I will tell you firsthand, as somebody who worked as a marketing grunt, various companies over the years, I was even, I was even a marketing executive. Marketing people are the first ones to go. Mm -hmm. When shit gets tough, they cut marketing always, mm -hmm. whether it's marketing staff or advertising budgets or whatever. The marketing people are always the first ones to get cut. Which is always surprising me because you think that would be what they needed to focus on more. But it's true. And because we yeah. have, so we're not, we have nothing against office people or office staff workers. We have something against this office staff workers thinking they should dictate what, that they, that they're the moral compass of the whole company and that, that they're, whatever, whatever appeals to them is what should be done. And that's a kind of a load of shit. Because you're listing like nine to 12 people amongst how many people that work in all these comics across all of Image? Yeah. Yeah, so good luck with that because, uh, you know, Todd McFarlane, Todd McFarlane could just pull McFarlane Productions out of Image tomorrow and he would be fine. Mm -hmm. He's got a toy company, he's got Hold toys on, just, Jim, this, is, this is ridiculous. I mean, these people shouldn't be able to tell no. everybody else what can and can't be printed, who who's who's acceptable and who isn't because they decide with some nebulous rubric that, that you know, changes daily. It's going to end the same way that Spotify ended. It's going to end the same way that Kickstarter ended. Uh, either they're going to get with the program or they're going to be looking for another job. I, or I, I just don't... leave. You don't like it? Leave. leave. How hard just is leave. that? Leave. Go work for one of the other comic book pub Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> A lot of these comic book Well, a lot of those job work. descriptions, they would have no problem going someplace else. And there are job openings for those kind of jobs. Yeah, but they might not have the platform in the mouthpiece that comics has. Well, they're not going to have a mouthpiece much longer anyway because people are like, you're full of shit. Yeah. So good luck with that. Really, truly, good luck with that. Going to wrap it up? Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.